The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, is used to dealing with storms. It's currently helping the Southeast prepare for Hurricane Milton while helping them recover from Hurricane Helene. Now FEMA says it's facing a different kind of storm. Amy Kiley reports it is a whirlwind of misinformation. The reality of rumors and misinformation that have been out there um, are very challenging. FEMA says false rumors about its work are making it harder to help with Hurricanes Helene and Milton. One inaccurately claims survivors only get $750 from the agency. Actually, that's just an immediate payment for things like food, water, and emergency supplies. People can apply for more, but FEMA says misinformation is an obstacle. It's causing confusion, it's causing chaos, and people aren't able to get the help that they need because they're seeing so much information that is not true. A different rumor falsely claims FEMA money is being diverted for other uses like international aid. I can assure you that no funding has been taken from the disaster relief funds. Congress controls the agency's budget. Obviously big disasters like this create longer term needs and across the federal family. We'll work on those at a, at a later point, but for Helene and for Milton, we have the resources we need. Another rumor alleges FEMA is limiting some efforts in North Carolina. The state's governor says that's not the case. We have thousands of local, state and federal officials who are working in North Carolina and who are making sure that people have what they need. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Congress is on recess until after the election and chose not to boost FEMA funding before leaving. Now lawmakers are under pressure to return for an emergency funding vote. Congressional leaders of both parties say they're waiting for damage assessments.